Hey guys, I'm Harmony. If you didn't know, what I know. Welcome to my YouTube channel. For today's video, I'm going to be telling you guys how you can be confident in school. This was actually requested by one of my subscribers, and I'm so, so glad that they wanted me to do this type of video. School can be nerve-wracking. Don't even get me started. Before you get started, make sure you smash that like button, subscribe to my YouTube channel if you have not already, and hit that notification bell right beside it so you're notified every single time I upload. Because let me tell you, you will not want to miss this face or any of my uploads. So what are you doing? Join the family and hit that subscribe button. I have quite a few things on this list. The first thing I do have to say is come into school with zero expectations. Whether you're the new kid or not, do not set the bar up too high or do not set it too low or don't even have it in the middle. Have zero expectations. You want to go into school completely blinded, blinded, blinded. So you don't really know what to expect. That way you can get the best experience possible. I don't know if that made any sense, but the second thing you should do is to face your fears. If you are the shy kid usually at school and you are not very social get into after school activities or do extracurriculars to put yourself out there so you can meet new people and work on your social skills we have been doing online school for almost two years i would say and some people are still deciding to do the online method which i'm not doing because ha i'm ready to go back you only live once so why not do the unexpected my eyes are like really burning the third thing you can do is to look on the brighter sides of things, meaning turn negatives into positives. Everything happens for a reason. This is a quote I 100% stand by. When I am in a pickle, as my sister Cartier would say, I go by the quote, everything happens for a reason and God wouldn't put you in a situation that you couldn't handle. There is light at the end of the tunnel and if there is a negative thing going on at school or in your lifetime, then you can think of the pros of the situation and try to be the solution to the problem and don't flare things up even more. The next thing I want to tell you guys is something my mom had me and my sisters do and that is to say a few affirmations to yourself before you leave school or whenever you feel like you need a boost. If you guys do not know what affirmations are, they're basically you talking to yourself and telling yourself I'm enough, I'm beautiful, I can do this. Like it's basically saying good things to yourself. My mom had me and my sisters do it in the mirror. I'm not too familiar with what it actually is, but if you ever need a boost or you just need a little bit of confidence, say a few affirmations to yourself. I bet you can find some on Google or if there's anything really that you just want to say to yourself that isn't negative, do it because I'm pretty ow, I just scratched my chin. Ow, I just scratched my chair. I'm pretty sure this will help you. My mom only had us do it once. The next thing kind of ties into the last two things I said, and that is to make a pros list about yourself. This is just like the affirmations, except you're writing it down on paper. If you're not comfortable with actually speaking out loud, blah, 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 anything that you want to say. You can even put goals down, like write goals you want to have because having goals for yourself is really, really good because it, it shows that you have something to look forward to in the future. I just think that's so, so great. You guys should try that out and let me know how it goes in the comments. Now, the next thing is a given and that is to smile often. You have teeth, you have a beautiful face structure for a reason. So use that beautiful smile of yours to, you know, brighten someone's day or even brighten your own. Smiling can actually do a lot, believe it or not. Like. It can do and mean a lot of things, okay? So just smile often. Um, I'm trying to smile more in my YouTube videos because I use YouTube as a positive space, per. My friend actually told me to do this. Well, she's not really my friend, but like, it's a long story. She told me to smile often because I should feel happy and all that. The second to last thing is something that I have already said in the beginning of the video, and that is to put yourself out there and have participation in class this has to do with facing your fears another one of the tips i give you guys if you participate in class there's a lot that comes into participation in class if you know that answer and you don't want becky or susan to get the right answer before you put your hand up and let the teacher call on you here is a strategy i do and hopefully it will help you guys so 
when the teacher gives out an easy question or a question that I just know off the top of my head, I'll raise my hand, she'll call on me sometimes, and then she won't do that random picking. Like some teachers, they randomly call on people without you even raising your hand. So if you participate in class with the easy questions, then your teacher most likely won't call on you when the hard questions come around. And I always do this because I don't want to get embarrassed. Like there has been so many times where I have not known the answer and I just sit there like, uh, uh, uh. and the teacher like, um, honey, do you want someone to help you with that? I'm like, yes, because I don't know the answer. Like, <laughs> why do you think call on me? That's besides the point. Put yourself out there in class and participate. The teachers notice that and they're going to acknowledge you for that and that is going to make you look even better on your report card because the teacher is going to write in the notes section that you are showing great participation in class and it might even boost your um, average a little bit. So participate in class. And the last thing is kind of tying all of it together, tying the meats and potatoes together into one nice, extravagant dinner and that is to try something new whether it is a new hobby a new skill between cooking youtube reading a book writing a novel doesn't matter you can't be the boring still version every single time you know you just gotta do what you gotta do okay okay and that's like pretty much everything that i have got to say in today's video i'm going to be filming hopefully two to three more times today i hope you guys enjoyed this little video um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you in the next one. Bye